chairs and ranking and honorary members of the House of Representatives and the Senate Committee are divisions with jurisdiction over transportation policy and finance, the Commission of Transportation, and certain of the Navy Amendment uh, on, on the part of establishing a, uh, a, a welcome group to uh, uh, do and the following duties. Uh, Modify and consider policy and technical issues related to funding state transportation infrastructure to the implementation of the road user charge as an alternative to the motor fuel tax. Working group, group shall study and make recommendations concerning cost, privacy, jurisdictional issues, possibility, complexity, public acceptance, use of revenues, possible constitutional dedication, and carrying up appliances. The other types of technology includes privacy and user options, implementation, and related issues. And in addition, the working group shall seek to facilitate collaboration with other states for new pilot projects and impl implementation results from other states and counties and explore uh, funding options. As some of you know, there was a pilot, a very uh, small pilot, uh, pilot pro program about uh, four or five years ago. I remember the I think <coughs> I was a member of it, in which uh, some of the very rudimentary uh, uh, cell phone to use uh, program to uh, collect the data and, uh, and, and send it to a central uh, uh, collection point, and there were uh, dollars were worked on on that to get the uh, Gas actually running back and so forth. And uh, those were very unfamiliar. Uh, there were some problems with those devices. Uh, when it was parked in my car overnight, I had a very difficult time getting started the next day, so I probably wasn't going to do the video. But other states have been investigated there and beyond. So this working uh, group. Submit an important change of committees and the Senate House of Representatives with primary jurisdiction over transportation policy and transportation finance by January 15, 2017. And it also uh, will recommend the development by the Commission of Transportation of an implementation plan that may identify, and there's a whole list of those things. Identify a budget information timeline, identify a fiscal year, including a fiscal analyst that identifies costs, revenue projections, and associated tax rate changes. Establish a technology and operational architecture for the system. Address forward of system administrators to be based on search strategies for finance, fiscal efficiency, equity across the whole system, and distribution. Uh, user payment relative to user cost and the distribution of burden of the fee structure that includes the factors required under the self statute, which I will not read that because I don't know it's just as many C.13 sub 1. And C identify of uh, the possible fiscal, fiscal offsets ready to spare act on user based on geographic location of the residency. Federal advocacy of long term suitability, uh, environmental impacts of sustainability, administrative technical feasibility, and data privacy and protection, transparency and accountability. Uh, and the provision for getting this thing rolling is the Commissioner of Transportation or the Commissioner's designation can be the meeting that used to be the work of April 11, 17. September 1, 2015. Uh, and it goes on to describe that a little bit. And the uh, working group expires 20, May 1, 2017, and a proclamation of the report and report under Section 3. They accept, the working group may accept testing grants which are accepted on behalf of the state and class of tools and class of generation from the state. And the funds are sent to this paragraph are quickly to the Commission of Transportation purpose of this working group. Uh, and uh, I think uh, this is a very thorough piece of work. It probably covers about every uh, complaint that's been uh, uh, raised, except 
Thank you, Mr. Chair and Representative Earhart. As you might be aware, there have been a lot of studies done on the mileage base tax. And is it your intent that hopefully this new group will come up with something, any, anything really different, or just kind of customize it for Minnesota? So, 
complexity does bring cohesion. Uh, third point, endothermic gets like the concept not only for its ability to fund road construction, but for also its externalities. There's all kinds of other things you could do with an EMBA. It could allow system managers, and they very much like this, states and counties, to implement congestion pricing. They could raise or lower rates to functionally force select vehicles to use certain routes. And you could say pickups, minivans, uh, and of course trucks, that's who I speak for. And this data could similarly be used to reduce the total miles driven in an effort to maybe address environmental impacts. So now you're taking it as a funding source, you're turning it into a behavior modification tool. And uh, again, when we're truckers, we got to go to a spot because our customer says, we don't have that choice and we may pay that higher fee. And of course, lastly, uh, even if an MBUF can overcome the cost, the invasion, and social engineering issues, and they're waiting, we question really whether then we could be guaranteed it would be constitutionally dedicated and used for their intended purpose. So, Mr. Chair, uh, again, there's a lot more we could dive into, but I think the minority report can flesh that out for you. Representative Norton. And the, the test fire here. Uh, I don't disagree that you've identified some issues. I think um, uh, Representative Ehrler mentioned the technology technologies continue to change. And so just because we've done one study doesn't mean the next study would not identify a different way to do this. Or, um, you know, my, my constituents, frankly, are, are torn on this. I have some that think it's a great idea. I have some that think it's the worst thing I've ever invented. But, what is your answer to this issue that we have more and more drivers out there not paying for the use of the road and, and leaving it to the trucks and the... the There's a lot of truckers. Yeah, but the, I guess that's, that's the question I would have is, is it okay for a representative Garvel to, to be able to drive on our roads and uh, is he the one always bragging about his electric car and not pay for the damage that he's doing um, from using them and yet a, a large truck is going to pick up, you know, we're going to have to raise the rates eventually to cover those that aren't doing it. So, you know, I don't have an answer to this. I don't see anything wrong with studying it, frankly. But, but I, what's your answer to that? Well, I think, first of all, the number of alternatively fuel vehicles on the roads, they are vastly overstated. In fact, the report that we looked at is probably said by this year, there would be about 7,500 electric vehicles in Minnesota. I'm not sure we've even gotten there yet. If you figure out an electric vehicle, if you took the fuel tax they don't pay, it's less than 200 bucks a vehicle. So if you took all of those vehicles and took them off the road, you get to the, to the trend to the average trust fund be less than $1.5 million. And what are you doing today? We're visionary. Talk about the future. But what I'm going to say, I don't see the weather changing. It's still going to be cold. And the biggest issue with electric cars is have batteries and battery life and sustainability. And so, uh, maybe really small cars that may have some impact on, but I tell you, anything that's bigger and heavier and has to pull any kind of load, it's going to continue to be a challenge. And so, you know, the existing mechanisms, uh, they're really not broke. They are scalable, they're efficient, you can increase them, you can have that conversation. But um, uh, I don't see that we're on a crisis as it relates to alternative fuel vehicles. And this one, I don't think we're on a crisis either, but I do think Representative Ehrenberg is trying to address something many of us see as, as the future. More fuel-efficient cars, certainly the hybrids out there. I've got one, although mine's not very good. Um, I, I have one, one as well. It's not helping me. Um, but, you know, at some point, we have to look to the future. And, and if, if we don't address this, I just fear that you, you know, the truckers or whomever, are going to end up paying the brunt of all the road construction. That doesn't seem right either. So. I, I guess I'm scratching my head as to why you're part of the minority report, and, and okay, so you are, but what is next? What are we to do moving forward? Unless you want to pay for, you know, trucks want to pay for everyone's roads and bridges. Mr. Chair, I know trucks always would want to pay for a fair share, and you could have that conversation, but I think fundamentally the system we have right now works. And uh, we're a long ways from it not working. And as you look at other mechanisms, particularly for trucks, we don't see uh, a system changing that's going to serve them any better right now. So, Mr. Chair, thank you very much for, for allowing me this. And I, I'm, I'm wondering if, you know, Representative Garofalo's been lobbying you. That's. <laughs> Representative Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I, to, to give you a little comfort there, I think the bill that, that has all the, uh, the tax on automotive parts will 
because electric cars and hybrids have to pay more sales tax up front, by the time that gets out and then they have to replace their batteries, who will pick up that tax on those expensive batteries that they have to replace and they have to pay the sales tax on that. Mr. Chair, can I respond? And as long as we're being representative of discussing this, I just have to tell you, I do have a battery in my car and it was uh, recalled and I got a free one. I'm the fire chief for the city of Green Bay. 
Representative Member of the Alliance would like to testify on House File 1354. All right. Representative Hackman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, this is the bill. This is the final stop of the bill. It's been through a lot of safety and government operations, and this is where it's going to last. And hopefully, you can not find room to include it here under this bill. Thank you very much. I'm going to go forward to House File 1354 and head over for possible inclusion in the other bill. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you. 